What's happening everyone? I'm Jamie Webster and this is 24 hours in the life of a touring musician in Europe. Let's see what's going on. So today we're in Amsterdam. It's the last show of the tour. We've been touring for about two weeks. Most of the show we've been around 300 capacity venues, but tonight's the big one. It's, uh, it's in the Paradiso. There's 1,500 of us and it's sold out. 1,600 of us and it's sold out. Um, it's going to be a boss night. Uh, and I just... Yeah, this is a venue I've always dreamed of playing. I've come to see a few artists here over the years and, and I remember one of my mates saying to me uh, a long time ago, you could do everything that they've just done there and thankfully tonight I get the chance to do it. So uh, we're just heading to get the tram into the venue for sound check now. Uh, we're a little bit further out of Amsterdam Central, we're on the very short of edge of Amsterdam Central, towards the west a little bit. Um, so this place is called Surinam Plain if I'm saying that right. And we've got about a 10 minute tram into the live display, which is where the venue is. This is a bit more of a residential and working area, but I like to get myself out the way a little bit because there's just constant chaos all the way through the tour. It's nice to have a little bit of, bit of a walk in the morning without a million people outside your front door, which is very much what's it like, what it's like in Amsterdam Centre. But yeah, so we're just mo mooching down here. We're gonna do a little bit of jaywalking now as we speak. And, uh, yeah, I'm not Jay walking over that one, no. Um, and yeah, we just get the tram. She, uh, it's it's not that long. We could walk through Vondel Park, but I really can't be asked. Uh, it's a bit windy, but yeah. So we'll be at the venue soon enough, and uh, yeah, hopefully the tram comes quick enough as well. Because as I say, it's a little bit windy. What do I like about Amsterdam? <laughs> nah, like. All jokes aside, like the architecture is amazing, and I know it sounds a bit like I'm trying to sound cultured there, but honestly, just walk around the city in the day, and it's amazing. It's so chilled out, you know, down the canals, around all the buildings, and then of a night when all the canals are lit up, there's not a better place to walk around. I don't think I love it. So where we are on the stage in Paradiso, we've just got in here. It's actually an old church. Um, it's a beautiful building, absolutely amazing. It's, um, this is what it all looks like when you come into the venues and you see all the lights and everything on stage. This is what it's like before and the room seems a lot bigger when there's less people in there. We'll do a little walk downstairs now to the dressing rooms and show you just the luxury that we're living in. And uh, yeah, I'll, we, we better go because as you can see, some of the crew are starting to get stuff on stage and we don't want to get in the way because they're naggy fuckers. Bit dark down here, steep stairs. So I'll be walking up this way to stage, obviously. Production office on your left, which is your office, lad, isn't it? Um, so dressing room for support act over there. This is my dressing room. My rider doesn't really consist of alcohol. It consists of crisps, sweets, waters, and like lemons and stuff like that. Um, hopefully there's a bit of chicken or ham coming. So we can have a butty in a minute because I'm starving. The little fridge behind you. Yeah. So that's all the drummers. All them Coronas, they're all free and skelly. A few Anakin to share up with the rest of the band. Bottle of wine for me mum. Um, there's gin for me fiance, sister and a few guests that we've got. And yeah, it's uh, this is how it goes in on tour. You spend a lot of time eating out of a fridge that someone else has stacked for you. You spend a lot of time downstairs in basement type dressing rooms with no windows. Um, but this venue's amazing. I've literally been in dressing rooms that are the size of like this couch to that door and we've all made do. But no, it's uh, it's nice to be here. Like I say, Paradiso has been one of the gigs on the bucket list for ages. And it's just proper exciting. Just walking around everywhere backstage and you know, sort of, planning my stage walk and everything else, it's boss. One of the good things about tour, you know, even though it's hard work every night and a lot of traveling, you know, you feel run down a lot of the time. You obviously, you get your, your reward when you're on stage in front of the crowd and you're having that connection with people. That's the best buzz in the world. <laughs> hello, hello, what's happening? Um, Brooke here. I'm at Paradiso. Coming to support my pal Jamie, uh, I thought it'd be rude not to, the dam, always, I'm there. 
But uh, it should be a good night. I'm looking forward to it. And I might get up, do a wee sing song while I'm, I don't know. We'll have to see, but uh, it should be a good night. As you can see, the room looks even more beautiful now. We've got all the stage and musicians on it. Uh, it's sounding good. It's a must part of the gig, sound checks, for those who don't know. Uh, it makes us, gives us a bit of confidence to make us feel like we can do the show. And yeah, it makes sure all the lads out front can get the levels right. It's time for a little bit of food, a shower, and then the show. I'll see you later. <laughs> So that's what my day looks like, people. Um, that was probably the best gig for me, my favourite gig I've ever played. The crowd were unbelievable. A lot of people will genuinely play, play music for 50 years and never have an experience like that with the crowd. It was, it was phenomenal. Have a weekend in paradise. I, I'm certainly about to. I'll see you in about three weeks. All the best.